Hello and welcome to another telehealth information video. My name is Garvin and today's video is on Ultibro Breeze Hailer. <clears throat> so the Ultibro Breeze Hailer contains two active ingredients, indaceterol and glycopyronium. These work in two different ways to keep the airways open and make it easier to breathe. Ultibro is used for chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. The two active ingredients in Ultibro Breeze Hailer work in two different ways to keep the airways open and make it easier to breathe. Glycopyronium bromide is a type of a medicine known as anti-muscarinic or anticholinergic bronchodilator. It works by blocking receptors called muscarinic receptors that are found in the muscles surrounding the airways. <coughs> By blocking these receptors, glycopyronium stops the action of acetylcholine on them. This allows the muscle around the airways to relax and the airways to open. This makes it easier for people with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease to breathe. Indasaterol is a type of medicine called a long-acting beta-2 agonist. It works by relaxing the muscles in the airways and allowing the airways to open. And this makes it easier to breathe. It's important that you read the information leaflet provided with your breeze hailer, as this will give you detailed instructions on how to use and look after your breeze hailer. If you're still unsure how to use the breeze hailer after reading the instructions, make sure to talk to your doctor or pharmacist. <coughs> All Tebro breeze hailer comes with the capsules that contain the medicine in powder form. These capsules are put in the chamber in the inhaler. You then use the inhaler to pierce the capsule and breathe in the powder. So you do not swallow the capsules. The capsules are put into the device. The usual dose of Voltibro is one capsule to be inhaled once daily. The daily dose should be taken at the same time each day and the effect of the medicine lasts for 24 hours. Don't suddenly stop using Voltibro, even if you don't currently have any breathing problems, unless your doctor tells you otherwise. All Tebro breeze hailer should only be used during pregnancy or while breastfeeding if the potential benefits of treatment to the mother outweigh the risks to the baby. If you're pregnant, suspect you may be pregnant or breastfeeding, make sure to seek your doctor's advice. <coughs> Some possible side effects of Ultibro may include sinusitis, sore throat or headache. For a complete list of the side effects, go to my website, lynchespharmacy.com. And Ultibro breeze hailer can sometimes cause dizziness. Because of this, it is recommended to abstain from driving and operating heavy machinery if the breeze hailer affects you in this way. And remember, all medicines have potential side effects, but this doesn't mean that you'll experience them. That brings this video to an end. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below or contact me through lynchespharmacy.com. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy and stay informed.